Welcome to Let's Play Sundays, it's Entertainment Talk's video game Let's Play series. I'm your host Matthew, and this is The Outer Worlds from Obsidian, now owned by Microsoft. But this game is of course also on PlayStation 4, and is going to be on Nintendo Switch at some point. Uh, we don't know when yet though. Uh, although by the time this video comes out, a release date could have been announced, but at least not at the moment, there isn't anything. Um, yeah, I've just watched the little opening cutscene with this guy coming out of a door somewhere and now we're here uh, and I thought I'd show this because of course this is a very um, Fallout type of game isn't it uh, given the same developers um, right uh, so what do I not care about having so much I feel like I'll need you could get away with all sorts of illegal activity I've usually found with games like this there's something like charm, like to to convince people in conversations and stuff, has been something I've kind of needed, or uh, it would really help. Uh, strength, I want a lot of. What's dexterity? Oh, melee, melee attacks. Uh, modify your attributes. Choose right, right. Dex, dexterity, dexterity affects melee against. Sorry, I can't read properly. Affects melee, attack speed, and ranged weapon reload speed. I've only got two points left. Um, affected skills, persuade, hack. I feel like I want a lot of intelligence and a lot of charm. Um, but you can't pick everything. I definitely want a lot of strength and a lot of charm. What's temperament? Uh, your natural health regeneration. Ah, this is when things get tricky, isn't it? Because you'd like points on all these to start off with, wouldn't you? Um, go with two for that. Um, see, what I could do, but what I don't think I want to do, is because I've left two, two off, if I made that good, put one up there. Um, good, put one there, whatever. And then did the same then, but then they'd all be good, and I want high for some of these things. So I think I'm going to go for that. Of course, I can I assume level these up as I go through. So um, I'm right in the mood to play this kind of game as well, um, which I think is really good. And I've heard that this is a bit slightly shorter than some of the Fallout games. Um, so I'm looking forward to just potentially not being overwhelmed, but still playing a really good Fallout-esque type of game, which is what I'm in the mood for. I think that's what I want, um, which is strange for me because usually in the past I haven't gone for a lot of like charm or whatever. I would usually go for a lot of like weapon skills, which would be uh, you know these kind of guns here and some of this sort of stuff. I think I'm gonna go for this. Um, why does it say oh actual skills? Oh, okay, all right. That's just one tab. I did see the others up above, but I weren't paying attention to them. I've already got two points for all of this. That's even more difficult. Um, well, seeing as I went for dialogue and everything like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore all of these uh, and go for some gun stuff. Um, oh, you can just pick. I hear monarchs in need of more game hunters. And dialogue, stealth, tech, leadership. I'm gonna go for melee and ranged. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. <laughs> I like this guy. Attitude. All right. Um. I'm gonna have to read all this. <laughs> uh, I don't want to read all this, but I suppose I need to, don't I? I'm going to just read it in my head, you can read it at your own pace. Um, okay, so it says like, I'm just going to go by which of these bonuses I want. Uh, I've already done melee, I've already 
sort of maybe need to do science. Plasma damage received minus. Okay, so that's some defense stuff. We haven't done anything for defense yet. Uh, medical, haven't done anything for that. Uh, this is also for attitude as well. So, um, Tospel team mascot. Um, so would that be like my previous job title or something, like my history? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, seems like it kind of is. I'm just wondering how that would affect my character. So let the career aptitude, aptitude, whatever that says, that your character possesses each attitude, I can't say that, so whatever, corresponds to a small bonus. I'm just thinking medical because I haven't picked any defensive things yet. Food effect duration. I guess I can start again if I need to, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to go with the medical thing. I hope you're comfortable with needles. I'm okay with needles. I haven't had to face too many in my life, thankfully, but, yeah. Uh, I am going to go for a female lead, because I always do that when uh, I'm playing games. I don't like her red eyes. Uh, face. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just want to go for, like, a, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what do you call it? You know when the game asks you to do this kind of thing, and there's, like, preset ones uh, I really want to change her eye colour though eye size can I not do that? oh eye colour there we go. Uh, I've actually got blue eyes I don't know how many of you have actually seen my face but that's blue isn't it? yeah what else can you have? that's bright blue isn't it? Um, Right, let's go for I didn't want to make the whole let's play this, but I guess this is the start. Um, how much will I be seeing of my character's face? That's a decent face. See, I'm not one of these kind of people that like, oh, I'm going to make the nose slightly longer, or make her ears slightly wider, or... I'm not that type of uh, player. That seems alright. Skin tone, I'm about... Wait, why is there so many? Is it kind of reset or something? Because you've got... White... White... Really white... Hmm... I'm gonna go with... That, I suppose? Uh, we've done that, haven't we? See that brow, brow, that doesn't concern me. Um, jaw, no. I want to change her hair. Her face is fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's go with... I like that, that makes her look a little bit like um, Kat or Kate from um, Gears 5. Thing is, if I have the long hair and I'm like going to be in fights and stuff, that just doesn't quite. I know it's only a game, but that's not very practical or good, is it? Um, I like that one and I like that one. I think I'm going to go with that one. I suppose this kind of goes to show what I, <laughs> I like a, how I like um, women and whatever. Uh, hair colour. What she had was alright actually. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Again, not really concerned about eyebrows. Eyebrows are pretty useless, aren't they? So, uh, facial hair, none. Features. No, it doesn't need any makeup. Dirt. No, don't want that really. Which one's are there? Hmm. 
No, I think that's fine. Scar. I think that's fine. Age. That's. She looks fine to me. So, I think I'll go with that. Name. Now, I don't want to pick Matt, because that's my name. And that's also a guy's name. Um. I think I'll put, hmm. so I was going to put Cat or Kate because of the Gears of War character, um, because I said about the hairstyle and all that, even though that was a different one that I chose just now. Um, I'll pick Kate, I think, I don't know what I would call my daughter if I had one. Um, son, I'd probably go with Jack, but I don't know about uh, daughter. Summary. I think I'm good with that. What are we really low on? Stealth and a oh great lock pick. So we'll have to uh, and dodge. So we'll have to work on those. Okay. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. This looks really good as well, right, graphics wise. <coughs> Not likely, bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. I believe that's called a walk. Or a um I was playing that Star Trek game today. What was that the thing that was on there? I can't remember. It was warping something else. <sighs> Shit. It messed it up. I didn't think I'd be this excited to play this game, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've got in store. Plus, they're not got, you know, Bethesda holding their hands or whatever. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space. What are you doing? to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the hope have been in suspended animation for... 70 years, give or take. So I am... Um... Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. Of course you I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Well, where are you putting them? I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Orlando, or both. Oh, he's put us in a pod to go and do something, I assume. Yeah, I mean, this game kind of really shows they don't need Bethesda. They are, of course, are now with Microsoft, so that's going to hopefully lead to some good stuff. Um... Because I trust the relationship between Microsoft and, Obs and Obsidian. I think that's going to work out really well. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. 
I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant sake. the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Wow. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Mm hmm. Great. Where are we going? Okay, so. Yep, you're dead as well. Oh, great. <laughs> so. Our stealth is on a 6, and the first thing we have to do is, uh... Use stealth. You couldn't have given me a gun? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Hmm? Oh, okay. Uh, that use our medical. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look use like you know you're uh, done. Persuasion. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All spacers' choice saber. weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Yes, now at the time. Right. So what have we got? What? They gave us... Use 
You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating the weapon. Okay, so like a quick menu. Right, okay. Saber. So it is like a sword, but not really a lightsaber. Um, yeah, I think we want to equip that. Didn't want to do that. How do we... Okay. So should I... Due to complications stemming from whatever. Oh, is this like the uh, when you slow down time and you aim at. Okay, they did put it in this game. I was wondering if this would be in it. Um, yeah, still have limited time. Okay. And it's R1. Thing is, we don't have anything anyway. <laughs> Just take everything. Yep, lock picks is one thing we're low on, so that's great. It's kind of annoying if you aim at everything did I? I did loot him didn't I? Coward it guys wasn't there. One of them died here. Oh well. Um, one of them was down here, there he is. It was a good kind of steady start I think. Um, I like what they're doing so far. Now that's a nice spaceship. Ooh. Okay. Skill improvements. Yes, I'm aware of how things like that work. Your character, yes. All right, what do we need? We definitely need something in here. Wow, that was quite quick. I know it's still only on like 11, but it's pretty good. Um, Yeah. 
Alright, I'll get up to the ship, see what happens, and then decide what to do with this video. Gameplay's a little bit stiffer than what I thought it would be, but still enjoying this so far. Annoys me a little bit the headshots aren't really a thing. But then again they weren't on the other Fallout games. Probably need that. Alright, let's get on this. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. A pig. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Hello, please be informed Oops. that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Um. Just procedures initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all born parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Unreliable. <laughs> Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Alright, um, 
is a very good start. I'm excited to see what the game has got for us. We don't have any points to spend. Why is the game telling me that? Uh, hmm? What do I do? Um, okay, perks. One available. Let's try and pick something. I really want to get the, um, I'll just call it slow down time, uh, perked up quite a bit. So I'm going to pick that. That was very anticlimactic. Anyway, um, bye. You will be unable to, yes, it's fine. I'm not going to reset anything. Oh. Why is this being reset? Had that, didn't I? You have to click apply? Why would you? Okay. Alright. Companion ability. Options repair. Do I not need to? No. Uh, why not? Why not? Let me do it. I guess I don't need to or something. Conditions only sixty six percent. Unless I've not got anything, I imagine. Alright, that's what I've got for you for this first episode, or, well, one of the, I'll, I assume maybe I'll do another Let's Play for uh, The Outer Worlds, it's quite a big game, isn't it, so, but thank you everybody, yeah, thank you everybody very much for watching, you can of course find everything else that we do on entertainmenttalk.org, I'm going to go and record another episode for a different game, and you'll find out what that is in the future. Um, but yes, what do you think of the Outer Worlds? Have you played it? Are you excited to play it? If you haven't, what do you think of the current situation at Bethesda at the moment? Um, yeah, do you think there's going to be this relationship between Microsoft and Obsidian is going to be good? I do think it's going to be good, and we shall see what the future holds for, well, everything, really. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.